Hello lovely people! In this video we will finish this tutorial series. We have so much to do so let's get started. First let's improve rotation logic. So if rotating bottle is from left side we need to rotate it around the point on the right side of the bottle. And if it is from right side then we need to rotate it uh, around point on the left side of bottle. Because of that we need a reference to these points. Add three variables two public transform references and one private transform variable for storing chosen transform reference. Also add one more variable float direction multiplier. Next create a function to determine which rotation point to use. Name it choose rotation point and direction. In this function we will check from which side is bottle, set the right rotation point and direction multiplier. Call choose rotation point and direction function before rotate bottle coroutine. In rotate bottle coroutine we need to make some changes. Multiply direction multiplier with rotation values. Now we need to rotate bottle around those points we created. So we rotate them with rotate around function. Where first attribute is rotation point. Second is vector 3 forward or 0, 0, 1 vector and last is angle value to rotate. That will be difference between last angle value and angle value. We don't need this anymore. In rotate bottle back coroutine add last angle value variable and also multiply direction multiplier with rotation values. Instead of old rotation use this new rotate around. Set last angle value to angle value. In editor add two empty game objects to the bottle and place them at the right places. Their relative location is 0 0.25, 0 0.5 for right and minus 0 0.25, 0 0.5 for left. Assign rotation points to bottle controller script. Also don't forget to check if your curve values have this ping pong thing checked to work in both directions. Now when we play the bottle rotates correctly and depends on the location of the other bottle. Don't forget to leave some space in bottles so that they can be filled up and set the references right and adjust this bool value. Finally let's get rid of that P key pressing to rotate the bottle. Let's make everything go on click. In editor create empty game object name it game controller. Create script game controller and add it to game object. In game controller script, add two bottle controller variables. In update function we need to check on mouse click. This part of code is used to check on what we are clicking. Let's add conditions to determine what is going to happen when clicking on bottles. First condition is if we click on a bottle. Inside that if first bottle is null, set the first bottle to bottle we clicked. Inside else, 
If first bottle is equal to bottle we clicked, we need to set first bottle to null. In else means that we clicked on second bottle. Now we set second bottle. On first bottle we set bottle controller reference which is second bottle. In bottle controller script change functions, update top color values and fill bottle check to public. Update top color values on both bottles. And check if we can fill second bottle with first. If we can, we will call function start color transfer on first bottle. But first let's create that function. In bottle controller script create function start color transfer and copy this code from update function. Back on game controller call this function. After that set first and second bottle to null. In else means that color transfer is impossible and set first and second bottle to null. For this to work we need to add collider on our bottle. Let's add the box collider. Now in editor set up multiple bottles, set their colors as you like. Now when we play and when you click on first bottle, it gets assigned in a game controller and when you click on a second color transfers. It also resets when color transfer is not possible. Next thing is to move bottle to another and then rotate. In bottle controller script create three vector tree variables. Original position, start position and end position. Set original position at start. Create move bottle coroutine. Set start position to current bottle position. For end position we will use rotation point position of a second bottle. If we use left rotation point for rotation, of first bottle, then we will use right rotation point of second bottle. And layer between start and end position to move bottle. At end of coroutine call rotate bottle coroutine. In start color transfer function, instead of rotate bottle, call move bottle coroutine. Now create move bottle back coroutine. It is similar to move bottle, just end position is original position. Call this coroutine at end of rotate bottle back coroutine. Now when we play everything is working but it is slow and bottles overlapping, so let's fix that. To fix speed select all bottles and set time to rotate to 1.5. To fix bottle overlapping we need to change order in layer, so before we move bottle Increase sorting layer of both bottle outline and mask. And when bottle is back on original position decrease sorting order by same amount. Now that is fixed. And final thing is to create liquid pouring effect. For that we will use line renderer. Create game object and name it line renderer. Then add component line renderer. Set line renderer width to 0 0.03 and set the end cap vertices to 3. Set line renderer order below bottle mask layer. So set it to minus 1. After that disable line renderer component. In bottle controller script add reference to line renderer. In rotate bottle coroutine, in condition where we filling other bottle, set line renderer color, position and enable it.
after filling is over disable line renderer. Also add one more part to this condition and that is to add 0 0.005 to work better. Uh, on line renderer change material to default line material. In editor assign line renderer to bottles. And now when we are playing everything is working fine. So this is it for this tutorial series. This was my first tutorial series I have made. If you have any suggestions or critics please write them down in comments for me to know what to fix in the future. Your suggestions are really important. I hope you like this type of tutorials. If you like it please leave a like and subscribe and if you want to support me even more you can buy one of my assets at Unity Asset Store. Also follow me on the socials, for everything links are in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one, bye bye.